Hey guys, what is up today? I hope you're really having a good day. Um, today we're going over Adobe Generator, and I myself think that this is one of the most underutilized options in Photoshop because you get a ton of time savings and a lot of uh, efficiency out of this because you don't have to go through the export function, which... Um, you can use in Photoshop to get, you know, export pictures and things like that. But Adobe Generator is something that it's pretty much instantaneous and you'll see the benefits uh, right from the tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in. Basically, what Adobe Generator is, if you remember, is you go up to File and you're going to go to Generate and Image Assets. What this does is it allows you to take images or graphics, anything that you have in your layers panel and export it very quickly and out instead of having to go through an export feature where you right click on your layer, go to export as, and then pick the format that you'd like and select one and export all and then pick the folder and all of that stuff. You get to bypass all of that. Now they do have the quick export, which is right here and quick export is JPEG or PNG, which that will be covered in another video. But for this one, we're going to focus on generator and see what it has to offer. So now that we've gone to five, generate and image assets what we're going to do is take one of these layers so these shapes and I want to export these shapes as a PNG so what you want to do is go into the layer double click and we're going to type in dot how about not the semicolon dot PNG and then hit enter now watch over here what that does so these are some um, files that I have, it creates a folder, the name of the Photoshop file, and then assets, because we are exporting the assets. And when I go into that folder, it has created this PNG file for me. So if I open it up, you can see that it's clipped everything. And let me open it in paint for you so you can see where the boundaries are without the black background. Notice around here, it is already cropped all the way in on the top and the bottom of that image. Now, what happens if I want to um, save the entire canvas size? Well, an easy way to do that is to go in and I'm going to create new shapes here, make this all one shape, and I've got a red circle now. So notice how it automatically changes. But what I want to do is I don't want it to crop, and an easy way to do that is to create a layer mask, okay, and then you can rename and get your original file but look what it did it actually gives me the space that is on the canvas so it works a lot nicer you just got to be careful because when you're changing layers it will update automatically so if you add anything in here like an adjustment layer let's add some different color okay we're gonna make those yellow it's changing everything in the background so I can go in and create everything on the fly and it will create every asset that I need um, now let's go ahead and hide this one. So you can also do this with, let's say we want to take this out and we want to do it a JPEG. So .jpg, hit enter. Instantly, look at that. So it automatically puts our picture out. And then let's say we want to do this one as well. We'll do this as a JPEG. Hit enter. And it's going to bring it out here. So it's definitely a huge feature. It's going to save you so much time to be able to do this and there's a lot more things you can do with it this one i just wanted to cover what you can do to export your files with the generator and how it can save you time and just show you kind of like a live preview here so um i'll see you around in the next video and i hope this was very informative for you have a good one